Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Shadowrun Dragonfall on the PC. And no, don't freak out, you didn't miss an episode or anything like that. It is, it is I, it is I who missed an episode. Uh, basically, I had recorded an episode, got like 50 minutes into it, and then my computer crashed and I lost the whole thing, so that's a bummer. But, the game auto-saved. So I didn't really lose much progress. It's just you don't get to see what happened. It's just, sorry. That's how it is, I guess. It was either, you know, just keep moving forward or, you know, abandon the LP. And I want to finish this, so. So what you missed was I did, like, a side job that featured only me and Iger. And we kind of just... We were supposed to recover some stolen weapon shipment. It wasn't very interesting. Basically, we just went to this place, we killed a couple guys, and we got it back, and that was pretty much it. Uh, but that got me to, uh, that let me purchase a new shotgun, this Enfield AS7, which is capable of burst fire. It's pretty damn good. Then we went, came here to the AS Technology facility, and uh, they were like, "Oh, you know, don't go through the front door. You know, go through, be sneaky, blah blah blah." And I'm like, ah, "All right." So I found these couple, this couple people, kind of like yelling at each other, and they were ran like a soy calf shop, and they were trying to take down the man or something. I don't know. And so I went down into the sewer, and there was their buddy, and she was like trapped by this, uh, by this drone. So I killed the drone, and then I like blew the power for the entire building which was cool and then I was able to get in I was still spotted so the high threat response team was still alerted but it took them a while to get here and so then I came into this room and there was like a bunch of blood mages and they were about to do a ritual thing but thanks to Bugsy I got to do like a quickness six thing yeah it required quickness six and Bugsy was all over that so I like shot the guy in the face before he could finish his ritual it was great uh, so we wiped them out, we wiped up a bunch of the high threat response teams, uh, we did the Matrix stuff, which wasn't very interesting, and we let out some, some captives that were captive, uh, sacrifices for the ritual, so we let them out. So now all that's left is to pretty much take down the generator and blow up everything and blah blah blah. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of been the same old, same old. But that is the name of the game. <sighs> so hopefully Bugsy can just take care of the generator. Okay, blah blah blah. Disable safety overrides. Enter administrator level password. Admin. Okay, root. It's gotta be it's gotta be root. That's what it always is. Shit. Uh blood. I don't know what it is. Overload the generators. Shit. Um okay. Can't I hack it? Hack it. Hack hack everything. I doubt he'll be able to hack it. It's over here. Oh, there's a guy. Disable it. Hack it, you stupid decker. What a weird campaign that would be. be like, oh no, you you can't hack it. You have to get the password. It's it's just complete. It's unhackable. Nothing's unhackable. Okay, I think that's how we leave. Apparently, I can deck into that. So, I guess that's what he should be doing. <clears throat> There you go. There you go. 
Uh, I noticed that you don't have to purchase upgrades for your companions. They get their own upgrades. Because uh, Iger keeps getting a new sniper rifle and I haven't, I haven't purchased any. So that's cool. That's pretty handy. Well, that's good. So our Decker's about to just get blown away. Oh my god. Hey, nice. Turned on her. Nice. But I think Bugsy should probably go intervene. I'm no closer to fixing things, though. Bugsy will clean up this situation. Just need to get this guy out of here. Oh, of course not. It's good. It's good. It's good. Good. And. Where did they go? I don't know. There they are. The AI is sometimes really weird in this game. Oh, good, I didn't shoot him. Nice. Man, that's really weak. She is easily the least useful member of this group. And yet I can't get rid of her. She's clawed her way into my heart. Bugsy can't be everywhere. He can be here, though. Damn it! There we go. Okay, we're no closer to figuring, I could easily just load my save and we'd be where we were, but I'm not going to do that. Viscerate! That's some rogue shit. Closer to Bugsy. Even though I can just hit you from here because I'm a beast. Nice. 
jack in. He's been doing plenty of that. Alright, don't fail me. Hmm. Okay, well. It is what it is. it? Oh, okay. Well, we will blast them with blaster. Blaster. Uh, maybe I should move. Stop it. Stop it. There you go. See what I mean? Like, about weird AI? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't he just shoot me? Why would he do that? That's so stupid. Okay, we got the security access door. We'll see where that leads. Um, you just snipe him. Come on. Thank you. Bugsy can just patch himself up and reload. She can just patch herself up. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay. I'm fairly certain I don't have any sort of keep the team alive. Mission items. Oh, there's the admin password. Zolotl. Maybe I found that out in the last video, but I, I don't remember. The video that you didn't see. Okay. Fine. Let's do it. Zolotl. Yes. Overload. Terminal processes your command. An instant later, a high-pitched screeching noise erupts from the generators. Tremors rock the facility, shaking the ground under your feet. Over the building speakers, a thin synthesized female voice repeatedly states the obvious. Generator overload imminent. Please evacuate the facility. That's done it. Come on, chief. Let's listen to the nice lady and get the hell out of here. Like, I feel like they just took Mort from Planescape Torment and they just copied it over to this guy. That's, that's what I think they did. I don't blame them. It's a great character, but that's what they did. Generator overload in six turns. I think we should be able to make it out by then. Not enough AP. I don't know what these guys are still doing sitting here. Maybe I should talk to them. They just like immediately ran over here and then now they're just sitting there. I'm gonna go over there. You listen to Bugsy now. You make it home. Survive! Okay. Boom! Oh, they did make it out. Good. They listen to Bugsy. Gradually, the ringing in the ears clears and the world comes into focus. Generator overload did its job, just as Frau Muller said it would. The Aztec Technology facility has been reduced to a smoldering crater strewn with a chaotic jumble of cracked marble, melting plastic, and broken support beams. You can barely make out the faint wail of approaching sirens. They're still far away, but they won't be for long. 
Wow, Chief, that was intense. Nothing I couldn't handle, of course, but this was a little more dramatic than I was expecting. Or the part of the job, if you say so. But next time, let's try to find some work that doesn't end in a giant fireball, okay? Blitz steps back, blinking. A sudden gust of wind kicks smoke and dust into the air. The approaching sirens grow louder. They're now accompanied by another sound, the whine of approaching rotorcraft. What they were doing in there was wrong. More than that, it was terrible. They had to be stopped, and we stopped them. It's as simple as that. We can talk about this later. We don't want to be here when the, those response vehicles arrive. The test subjects that you liberated mill about aimlessly, blinking against the light. The foremost clone takes a half step forward. But what of us? We have no purpose now. This is not supposed to happen. It is wrong. Without our masters to guide us, what will we do? Oh yeah, they were pretty brainwashed, by the way. Um, no, I think if I actually said this, they would probably do it. So, quit complaining and start living them. We, we will try. We will try. Come on, Bugsy, let's get back home. Yeah. Yes, we should. Blowing up megacorp facilities. That's crazy. Memories of the explosion at the top of the AS Technology Facility keep you company on your ride back to the cruise bazaar. You barely managed to outrun the blast. Now the facility lies buried under thousands of kilograms of twisted rebar and reinforced concrete. No doubt a considerable blow to AS Technology's activities here in Berlin. Mission successful. It's time to get paid. Yeah. Getting paper. Your PDA rings and the face of your fixer, Paul Amsel, appears on screen. I have uncovered some terrible information. The team is assembled in the safe house. Please meet with us there when you are able. Great. Great! Uh, okay, so Iger can get Sniper Specialist 2 to get uh, Interdiction Shot. Fires a discarding Sabot HTI round that ignores armor completely. Wow. Uh, or she can get something for shotgun. Dragon's Breath Round, which is really cool. And I don't think that's in 5th edition Shadowrun. At least as far as I ever saw. I, I know I I know about Dragon's Breath Rounds. I know their existence. I don't think it's in 5th edition. Uh, but since she's my sniper, we got to take that. Okay. He don't, I don't care about. Frey Armor. Strips armor from the target or pistol, hail a bull. I mean, yeah, I, she does that. She's not very useful, but she does it. Okay. Decking increased by one or ESP controls increased by one. Well, decking. It's more general. All right. Good. It's going to be some terrible news. Let's do it. The dragon's here. Is that what you're going to say? Doesn't look like it. As you step forward, the rest of your team falls silent. Amsel shifts his attention to you. You can see the worry on his face. Bugsy, I have new information. I'm afraid that the news isn't good. Go on. Two years ago, a large shipment of highly lethal radioactive bioweapon disappeared en route to a storage facility in Dresden. The weapon was designated X-15. I have traced the path of the missing shipment. It was delivered to the Harfeld Manor. Well, that sounds... horrible. It is. I've heard of this stuff before. Back in the service, we called it Doom. I've never run across it in the wild, but I've heard enough horror stories to know I don't want to. So it's like VX poisonous gas. I know what that does to a body. I've seen it. The stories that you've heard are correct. This Doom is an extremely dangerous substance. He gestures to a technical document on his computer's display. I've been reading up. To this day, the story of Doom remains a cautionary tale in biotech circles. Monoclonal antibody technology is strictly regulated now, and this substance is one of the reasons why. What does this stuff do exactly? Why are you still here? I haven't taken you on a job ever since I had the option not to. Amsil clears his throat and reads aloud from the information on his screen. Doom kills by destroying a host muscle tissue via radi radioactive decay. Each individual Doom antibody is bound to a radioactive bismuth 212 isotope. When introduced into a host, these antibodies bind to surface level muscle tissue. Tissue is then killed with alpha radiation. This process repeats itself into the host, wastes away, and dies. It's like VX poison gas. 
I've heard that Doom was deployed in a couple of border skirmishes back in 41. After seeing what it did to people up close, the UCAS passed a unilateral ban on the stuff. If that doesn't tell you how bad it is, nothing will. It's one of those things we wish we could disinvent. Okay, so I hesitate to ask, but what would a dragon want with this dreck? Nothing good. That much goes without saying. This development worries me, Bugsy. It worries me greatly. That doesn't change what we need to do. I'm with Bugsy on this one. This is interesting. Scary, even. But it doesn't actually change anything. I mean, it ups the stakes that the Firewing's allowed to carry out her plans. Whatever those might be. But we're going to stop her before that happens. That was always the plan. As far as I'm concerned, it's still the plan now. I agree with Dietrich. No, you agree with me, you bitch! I agree with Dietrich. We need to focus on what's in front of us. Whatever the dragon's larger plans might be, the fact is that she's after us. We wouldn't let ourselves get distracted by anything else. Shouldn't. Amazon is slow to respond. Finally, he nods. Yes, I concur. You're all agreeing with me! With Bugsy! You remember it! For the time being, we must continue forward. And that means that you must continue working toward raising Alice's fee. I'll leave the matter in your capable hands, Bugsy. When you've acquired the necessary funds and are ready to head back out to the rabbit hole, let me know. From there, we'll discuss our next steps. Good, if you need me, I'll get you getting prepped for the next run. Right behind you, love. See, this is why I don't like you, Dietrich. Come on, little glory, let's go. Freaking Dietrich. Just get out of my sight. Uh, delete the mysterious as technology data. Wait, why would I want to do this? Oh! Yes? No? No. No. No, I wouldn't want to do that because I... No, I was got, I was confused. Why would I want to do that? Uh, Shadowland BBF post pay data for sale. Yes, the mysterious stuff. You can post this data as is for a quick sale. Without knowing what it says, you'll have no way of knowing whether you're getting a fair price for it. Yeah, you're right. I'll have to figure that out. DNA donor list. Good. Check your inbox for new messages. Oh, I didn't read that. One last DVD from Christy Mac. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's going to be more stuff that I don't really want to watch. Claim payment for the ad technology. Yes. Yes. If you're receiving this message, I fled the country and I'm otherwise unavailable. Don't worry, still be getting paid. I've made the appropriate preparation for that. In any case, Bugsy, thank you for helping me. Please do not attempt to contact me again. As far as the world and my former employees are concerned, I am buried under a ton of rubble. It's best I remain that way. Okay, we got another 18k into the Alice fund. Uh blah blah blah. Okay. What's the status of the Alice Fund? We're at 46. And I can deposit 5,000 of my own money. So we're technically... Yeah, I would just do it. We're done. 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 Okay. Question remains, though, of how to translate and figure out this shit. Maybe talk to Paul? Oh, here. I can't read it. Oh, let me see. These files, I can't read them. <laughs> but how can you read this? But I have my suspicions. I believe that you walked out of that facility with the very information that Farrow Muller wanted you to destroy. I strongly suggest that you delete this, Bugsy. From what Muller told us, this information is dangerous. But if you're determined to know what it says, you can try the Talismonger Algernon. I have no doubt he can translate it for you. Okay. Okay, it's been a long time coming, Bugsy. You don't have to tell me how long it's been, old man. Been working my ass off to raise this money. Yes, of course. You raised Alice's fee with admiral expedience despite your obvious social issues. But I'm very much looking forward to bringing this entire sorry episode to a close. Now, before you go see Alice, there are a few things you should know. Pay attention to this, Bugsy. It's important. Pay attention, Bugsy! Firstly, this is a one-way operation. Once the funds have been transferred to the credit stick, the only person who will be able to access them is Alice. As far as the team is concerned, the money will simply disappear. Uh, okay. Secondly, once you make your way to the rabbit hole with the funds, it's go time. I trust you understand what I mean by that. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, just remember, once you leave to see Alice, her information will be your only priority. No more distractions and no more side work. I'll busy myself canceling your remaining jobs and smoothing any ruffled feather. feathers. Keep going. <laughs> you need to be sure of what you're doing before you commit to this. Time is important. A great dragon wants us dead, and that is not a thing to take lightly. But you shouldn't return to the rabbit hole until you're prepared to act. If you have any doubts, then I urge you to wait. Uh, I'm ready to proceed. I actually no, because I want to delete that. Uh, that, that might give me karma. See, it gave me one karma. I don't know if that was worth it, but there it is. Oh, apparently I have 22 karma. Okay, good. Well, we can get eight quickness, which is the maximum for trolls. I like that. Range combat, maximum for trolls. We can't get any more. We, we need another this to, to get the also maximum for trolls, which I might get. So... I don't think the game's gonna end that immediately, so maybe we'll get another karma. Um, I mean, I'm pretty loaded up for gear and for uh, for cyber technology, cyberware. I mean, I got the data jack, I got the eyes, I got both legs to add quickness. I mean, my quickness is at 10. That's cray cray. I'm the fastest freaking troll on the planet. I'm like the Usain Bolt of trolls. So yeah, let's do it. Give me the password. Yes, God, I'm ready. Password is Vulcangin. Once you're on route to the rabbit hole with the funds for Alice's payment, I'll cancel the team's remaining obligations. Understood. You know, Bugsy, I have no idea why Monica chose you as a friend. You're rude, condescending, and arrogant. But your skills in the shadows are unparalleled. And for that, I suppose I am thankful. God damn right, Paul. You don't get to talk to me like that. Now, please, Bugsy, go get the information we paid for and keep your opinions to yourself. With Vauclair's location at hand, we'll be one step closer to surviving this mess. Look at this asshole thinking he can talk to me like that. Okay, did I... Alice fun, transfer... Oh, why? No, it's Vulcan... Vulcan... Got Volkingen. No, that's not it. What was it? Oh my god. Volkingen. Oh, Volklingen. That's what it is. Because why not? Why not make me just do this extra step? Vol. Volklingen. Funds disappear from your account. Moments later, a message pops up on the screen. Transfer complete. Sitting in its dock on the keyboard, a green LED blooms to life on Alice's cred stick. Trigger has been pulled. The rabbit hole awaits. Let's do it! Without Dietrich! See, like, I could have played Gug, and I could have just been the ace decker, but... I think it would only have just made the game harder. I don't think it would have been that different. Let's do it. Tiny cred stick feels heavy in your pocket, fat with the weight of hard-won New Yen. The U-Bond station slows you up and sends you hurtling down the rabbit hole towards Alice, towards the information you've bled for. The train pulls to a stop and the doors hiss open to the dark old platform. With luck, answers lie ahead. Okay. Insert Alice's payment into the machine. Credstick board the machine greedily accepts your payment. You watch as the black plastic of the Credstick's case disappears into the console. Moments later, the familiar sight of Alice's office winks onto the screen. Something is wrong here. You can see it in Alice's face. Her eyes are open just a little too wide, her smile just a little too forced. The look you've seen before all too often. Underneath her polished exterior, Alice, the Alice, is terrified. Alice, what's going? Hold a moment. I'm transferring your payment now. Alice's attention is fixed on the PDA mounted to her wrist. A moment passes, then she nods, lowers her arm, and shifts her gaze to you. Her smile looks forced, and her eyes keep darting back to the clock on the wall. Everything seems to be in order. Good. Tell me 
Hey, what's going on? Without a word, she bends to grab something from under her desk. A moment later, she lifts an aluminum briefcase onto the desk. Your information. She flips the case onto the desk, then shoves it toward the camera. As the briefcase goes large on the screen, you can hear the whine of motors spinning up in the arcade cabinet's guts. With a smooth mechanical motion, a generic brand optical chip slides out of the payment port in front of you. Alice kicks her seat back and stands. Her movements are becoming more and more erratic. Your answers are on the chip. She checks the clock again. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to run. What are you running from, Alice? She pauses and takes a deep breath and exhales it slowly. Tries to calm herself, but the panic wins out and she begins to tremble. You'll find out. For Bugsy, free piece of advice. You should drop your search for Vauclair. Drop it now and run far, far away. If you don't, you're going to get yourself killed. She leans in to stare into the camera. On the screen, you can see that her eyes are badly bloodshot. And stay out of the Matrix, Bugsy. It isn't safe. <laughs> I don't know if Bugsy has ever been in the Matrix, man. He's been on, like, Facebook. That's about it. Abruptly, the screen goes black. Alice is gone. The optical chip sits in its cradle, waiting for you to take it. The instant the chip leaves its cradle, the machine reboots itself. You are again alone. See, I got the karma. So now I can be I can be the best, the sharpest shooting troll to ever exist. Done. Ho, ho, ho. As you settle in for your trip back to the cruise bazaar, you can feel the rest of the world compartmentalize and fall away. No more distractions, just you, the train, and the optical chip. It sits in your pocket like a hot stone, impossible to ignore. The train ramps up to speed, filling the air with a monotonous electric whir. The sound is soft and low and urgent, like the droning wings of an enormous insect. It'd be soothing if your mind weren't occupied with other matters. All at once, the monotony is broken. Your PDA is buzzing. A quick glance at the screen tells you you're receiving a call, and that Paul Amsel is on the other end. What's going on, Paul? You hit the receive button on your PDA. One look at the grainy image that blossoms to life on the screen is enough to tell you something has gone terribly wrong. Strangled sounds of panic breathing punch through your PDA's tiny speakers. In the image window, you can see the outlines of figures silhouetted against the backdrop of Amsel's shop. The view rotates, bringing them toward the center of the frame. Ho! Oh. The image sharpens, and in the center of the screen stands an enormous orc in battle armor, a hand cannon leveled at something just out of frame. His face is a shiny mat of grafted tissue, his smile like something out of a nightmare. Paul? Paul! No, nothing. You watch, powerless, as the orc's grin widens. The frantic breaths that you hear coming from off-screen increase in frequency. From off-screen, you hear Amsel's frantic voice. Audrin, please, tell me what this is all about. What are the Firewing's plans? You're gonna kill me anyway. Don't send me to the grave without... Your stomach drops as the gun bucks and roars in the orc's hand. Your view on the PDA pitches wildly, then comes to a sudden stop with a violent cracking sound. A burst of static floods the screen. Moments later, a dark shape falls into view with equivalent force. You hear the unmistakable sound of bone crunching against hardwood. The camera auto-adjusts and the dark shape swims into focus. You are staring into and through the dripping, cavernous rune of what was once a human head. Remnants of the face or remain are enough to confirm what your gut already knows. The body on the screen is that of Paul Amsel. From out of frame, far away, you can hear another voice. A woman, young, from the sound of it, with a military cadence. What now, sir? Now we press our advantage. Jam their comms, Ortega. Sounds of hurried motion recede into the background. All right. Remember, people, Amsel was the brains of the operation. But the rest will put up a lot more fight. Flush them out and take them down, one by one. Another voice chimes in. A young man this time. Sir, look at Amsel's wrist. PDA, I think that it's recording. God fucking damn it! You hear the roar of another gunshot and the screen goes dark. Your vision swims and the screen of your PDA seems to fade away. The impact of what you've just witnessed hammers you in the gut over and over again. Like, I think they're way... They're, 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 they're showcasing Bugsy in a very different light than what I expect. Bugsy would just be like, okay. Amazon is dead, Cruise Bazaar is under attack, and it's entirely possible that an ambush party is already waiting to meet you at the U-Bahn platform. Whatever your attackers have planned, you won't be able to do much about it from here. The train is speeding toward the Cruise Bazaar station. No more stops between you and the enemy. Nothing to do but prepare yourself and wait. Yeah. Hey, look, it's Iger. Barrel of Iger's rifle swings upwards. He emerges from cover, turning to face you. 
About time you showed up. The light plays off of Iger's face like a streetlight on rain slick asphalt. Her face, neck, and chest are sheeted in slick dark liquid. Blood. A lot of blood. Jesus, you're a mess. Bastard came at me with a knife. Iger wipes her mouth with the back of her hand. Under the circumstances, maintaining my personal cleanliness wasn't a top priority. Besides, with a jerk, she hoists a corpse up from behind the makeshift barricade. A young man, maybe in his early 20s, eyes frozen wide in surprise. What's left of his throat hangs down in ragged flaps. The other guy looks worse. Nicely done. Well, you know what they say. Any weapon at your disposal. Did you meet up with Alice? Do you have the information? Yeah, I got it. An optical chip. I'll have to use my mission computer to open it. Whatever's on that chip, these bastards don't want us to read it. All the more reason to do exactly that. After we put the rest of them in the ground, that is. My thoughts exactly. Glad we're on the same page. Those bastards need to pay for what they've done. And they will, Bugsy. They've got numbers on us, but their tactics are predictable. Case in point. Figured they'd try to ambush you at the platform, so I hightailed it out here and set up an ambush of my own. Good thinking. Thanks. Anyway, that's enough talk. We've got a job to do. There are an unknown number of hostiles topside. They were equipped, decently trained, and hell bent on killing us. Last I heard, Gloria was on the north end of town. Dietrich was out getting coffee when all hell broke loose. Let's go get him. Let's go hunting. Plus one action point. Your experience has increased your ability to operate in dangerous situations. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Now Bugsy is like 33% more dangerous. Or 50% more dangerous. I don't know how that exactly calculates. Okay. So this is this is just a dog. I guess I don't want to shoot the dog. You better not shoot that dog. Damn it. Oh. That dog can't defend himself, you bastard. Something ahead of you lets out a low, rumbling growl from the shadows. A primordial sound that echoes down the snowy streets. It steps into the light. Dante. Even from the distance, you can feel the heat radiating from the enormous dog's body. It locks eyes within you and you can see the fire burning within them. Takes a step toward you, hackles raised. Iger glances at you. Her voice is calm, but you can see the unease in her face. I forgot to mention, fearless leader, your dog's acting funny. I can see that. Happened fast, too, just before you got here. I caught sight of him on the way down to the U-Bahn platform, and he looked normal enough. Then one of these bastards took a shot at him and winged him. Big mistake. Dante got mad. Real mad. He started shaking and twitching, and I saw fire in his eyes. He was on the guy before I could blink. A few seconds later, the shooter was a red smear on the sidewalk, and Dante looked like this. Okay, well, I can't read his aura, and I don't have the willpower to control him. Want some soy jerky? <laughs> Dante growls low and begins to drool. Droplets hiss as they hit the frozen pavement. He lowers his head, and the hackles on the back of his neck stand stiff. I don't think this is working, Bugsy. It'll work. Easy, buddy. Slowly, wind begins to shift, and he sniffs the air, looking from you to Iger, then back to you. Acknowledgement washes across his face, and his expression softens. His ears stand back up, and you can swear that you see him smile. Dante takes his place by your side. Well, whatever he is, I'm glad he's on our team. Let's find the others. Yeah. See? Everybody respects Bugsy. When he tells you to stop, you better stop. I guess I'll go get Glory. Since apparently she's on the north side. Is that up here? Yes. Uh, let's do one of these. Okay, let's kill him. 
There you go. Now you die. Damn it! Took you long enough. Okay, well, you're a bitch. No. No, you're not. Overwatch miss. You've got a shotgun. You need to learn from Bugsy. Okay, so he's got Chomp. Does a minimum of 8 HP damage. Or Rip Armor. And then he's got Spells. Flame Breath. Sure. Get flamed. Flame on. Petrify. Okay, petrify him. All AP lost. Now he will kill you. Not quite. Jesus. Oh, there's this guy still. I forgot about him. Okay, go bite him. Bite him! Bite him! Thought it was a minimum of eight damage. You liar. Oh, I know. He's healed. He's shooting Bugsy. What are you doing? I can't even... Uh, I can reload and then give him the burst. Nobody survives the burst. Whoa, I hit Dante. That's no good. Dead eye shot. Uh, why is this taking so long? No, you don't get to do anything. You sit there. I gotta shoot this guy. It's gotta be this whole ordeal. And no, nah, I'm shooting everybody. All right. Anyways. Got Glory. I don't know where Blitz is because they didn't mention him. All they mentioned was her and Dietrich. So that's probably bad, but we'll go in here. Paul's lifeless body lies crumbled on the floor. The majority of his head has been splattered across the opposite wall. Well, that's, I mean, it's a bummer, I guess. Some might say. Trash the DVD player for some reason. Automatic lockdown system is engaged. I feel like I have to go get Dietrich. I do have to get Dietrich. God damn it. I want him dead. What if he died? Oh no, it said team must survive. I should have killed him earlier. Should have killed him when I had the chance. Dead. Go stab this guy. Thank you. Go stab this guy. Him and his stupid... What is, what is that? Nerve bolt? Who told you you could have a nerve bolt? Oh boy. Am I sad I didn't take you along. You don't get to do anything. Look at it, he just got crit for like half his health. Meanwhile, Bugsy can do that. But you know, who am I to say? Okay, I can't, I can't risk that. Okay, I thought, all right, I was, I was confused. Spray armor. No, just 
run over there so you don't die like a damn fool. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, you just go here and Bugsy will finish this. See? Glad to see you all made it here alive. Listen, boss, we've got problems. Saw a group of these jackasses peel off a few minutes ago. They made a beeline for the sewers. They were carrying bombs, Bugsy. Can't say what yield, but they look big. Unless you fancy living in a crater, I'd suggest we hightail it down there. Where the hell's Blitz? Took off with Mallet. Said something about jamming the attackers' comms. Don't worry about that. We gotta deal with those bombs. Don't worry about that. I care more about him than I do about you, you asshole. Oh my god, you're all stacked up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so good. And we'll let Glory do something. There we go. Dude, you never stack up next to Bugsy. That's... Oh boy. Yeah, head into the sewer. You and your team descend into the sewers, footsteps echoing off of the damp stone walls. You barely notice the smell. There's no time to waste. Audrin's team of mercenaries is down here somewhere, racing to plant their explosive charges beneath the keys. Fate of the Cruise Bazaar is in your hands. Nice. And we're already in combat mode, surprisingly. Uh, I guess we're going this way. I mean, sure. Eleven rounds until the bombs explode. I'm gonna have to move it. You two just sit there. There we are. What if I shoot the bomb? Can't shoot the bomb. Okay, time's gonna be potentially a little tight. Mm, I don't screw around. takes three rounds, four rounds to kill him. It'd be problematic. Defuse the bomb, Bugsy! Yeah, Bugsy, defuse the bomb! He's the greatest! running out of time I might have to just like run in and dis dis defuse it rather than focusing on killing them we'll see what happens Lock my ass. There you go. Get the 
party started. Okay, she can run in and swipe this guy. There you go. You can hit him again. Or not. Learn to shoot, nubs. Oh my gosh, you guys all suck. Yeah, I think we might have to just disarm the bombs. So she is going to run here. She should survive. She's uh, she's a tough gal. That hurts. I mean, I'm not gonna lie about that. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. So you defuse the bomb. So, and I'm gonna assume that the final one's up there. That's where Bugsy should be. Bugsy can hold his own. Uh, slash him. Slash him. Can I cast some giant explosion thing? There, throw that over there. Yeah, that's not terrible. Bullshit, I should get an op. It ran right past me. Okay. Come on. There we go. Now I'll go stun this guy. It's gonna come down to the wire. The wire! Like the TV show. Get over there. Oh, look at all these guys. So many guys. I don't like all the guys. Bugsy might need some backup. Increasing his accuracy. Hitting me for damage. As long as I defuse the bomb. That's all that matters. Boom. Defused. Get over there. I mean, yeah, we could just flee, I think, but... That's not something Bugsy does. I mean, Bugsy might buckle down to get a job done before killing everybody, but... If there's some sort of time constraint, but I'm not about to run from the fight. Okay, let's go here. Oh, I should have gotten a little bit more out of sight. Let's kill the conjurer. be okay. Oh, that sucks. Plus four AP? Ow! Oh, no! That's nuts! Okay, she's got like minus five AP. That's good. I've got no trauma kit for him. She might, I don't remember. But yeah, that's bad. There we go. Um, I mean, he, he does, but... I mean, I guess he should 
move just just in case she doesn't have one oh man 33 damage that's a really high number Okay, see that that's that's XCOM shit. That's what I'm saying. That happens in XCOM. So she did have a trauma kit, but she had to use it on herself. So now I have to just kind of hope that he can make it there in time, which I don't think that he will. Or er, eh, no, probably not. That's what I'm saying. But then miss. There we go. Cut him. Cut him good. Hemorrhage. Nice. Uh, okay, I can get there. So if he can hold on for one more turn, we're okay. If not, that's bad. As I said, that's bad. Damn. That was some crazy shit I got hit with. Uh, alright. Well, I won't make you suffer through that again. I'll just, uh... I'll just get up back up to that point off camera and we'll pick it up from there. So, my name is Mang. A game you've been watching is Shadowrun Dragonfall. And I'll see you fine folks in the next part.